Hey, what's up? Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma, and if you're not new here, then my name is still Emma. Today, um, well, it's like actually like 5:30, and I don't really know what this video is gonna look like, but I'm about to start organizing, sending out my merch. So I thought this could be interesting to show you guys what goes on behind the scenes, because I know that a lot of you guys have ordered it, and if you haven't ordered it, a lot of you are also curious as to what it's like so basically an hour ago i went into this like the place where it's all getting manufactured and i'm like hey when's it gonna be finished because it's currently the 16th of december so christmas is nine days away and i want to try and get them to everyone like at least the new zealand people before christmas because like you know christmas presents and i thought that'd be pretty cool they said they're getting made at the moment and they should be finished before the end of tomorrow so I was like, wow, okay. Well, I was not expecting it to be that soon because obviously I need to send them. So I need to get the courier bags and I need to take them to shop and send them. But before I do that, I need to organize where they're going to, who they're going to, and the sizes, tracking numbers. And also I want to send each one out with a personalized note, which I wasn't going to say, but now you guys obviously know that I'm going to be sending out notes signed by yours truly um, to each of them just like, you know, you just have to get one to find out what they say. So first things first, I need to figure out how many career bags I need because domestic career bags I'm going to get from someone I know who I can get them from and the international ones I need to go to the shop and actually buy those and pay for the postage while I'm there. So I need to sort out exactly what I need to do for that. So obviously I can't show you everything that I'm doing just because there is going to be like addresses and people's names and stuff. So obviously for privacy reasons I'm not going to be showing people's addresses or anything. But what I will be doing is showing you that the basic processes because I don't know what I'm doing. This is my first time doing anything like this. So I'm very much winging it and you guys have been so supportive of that which has really made it a lot easier for me. Like I was so scared that this was going to like come back at me and really like bite me in the bum. But it's been good. It's been fun. So yeah this is like my first distribution. Yeah I'm excited. So if you haven't purchased my merch yet this will be this video will be going up sometime during vlogmas but if you haven't purchased it yet you can still head over to my website if you're watching this before january 12th pre-sales will close on january 12th sometime during the day i will announce that closer to the time because if people are manufacturing my merch close up over the christmas period so they will be reopening on the 13th of january so that's the day that i'll take all the rest of the orders in and they'll get made hopefully as soon as possible so I can get them to you guys hopefully before the end of January. Anyway, I need to sort out the quantities for these courier bags. Okay, so first step is to determine which orders are domestic, which ones are to Australia and which ones are international. Okay, don't worry guys, I'm not going to show addresses or anything if you're ordering. If you order merch and you're sitting there right now like, oh my gosh, you've not exposed my address. Don't worry, no I'm not, it's okay. Alright, so that is all done. So I've determined that I've got 21 domestic orders for just like a single hoodie, like on its own. Four orders for double hoodies, so four orders for two hoodies in New Zealand. And three single orders to Australia, and then a couple that my friends have ordered, which obviously I won't be wasting my time posting them to them. Now I need to create invoices for all of these, so when I package them up, you guys get sent like a receipt or an invoice to show, like prove payment and all that sort of fun stuff. So, 28, 28 invoices. Okay, invoices. Now what happens to the invoices? Okay. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm new to all this, so I don't really know what I'm doing like that. This one couldn't have an invoice. Why, why, why? Because I already created one for it. How do I print an invoice then? Or maybe that is the invoice. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I need to figure this out. Okay, so I figured out the invoice thing, not as easy as I thought. I literally have to go through every single individual order and press print for an invoice. So that's going to be an absolute pain. But it's got to be done, so I'm going to do that now. And I'll catch back with you guys shortly. These actually look so sick though because the invoices get like automatically created. Here's people have been asking me. I just created my website through Wix. It's so cool because it auto generates everything and it's just, it works perfectly. Also, I've got like a burn mark on my forehead from my therapy. So that's fabulous. Okay, so the last few invoices are just printing off now. But now I need to match the invoice numbers with the order numbers because for some reason they are not the same. So... Um, I can't really show because it's got people's addresses all over it. Basically, it's the invoice and then there's the order sheet. So I need to pair them up. I'm going to chuck like a little paper clip on them to pair them up. And then when I send the order off, I'll detach the invoice and keep the order form obviously to myself. And send them the invoice and then pop the note with it. And it'll be good to go. And then I need to sort the curry bags and get those 
probably go pick him up tonight. So obviously as you can tell it is quite a bit later now because the blue light glasses are out and the lamp's on. But anyway, I've got all of the orders here matched up with their invoices ready to go. I wanted to make the little like personal letters very personal pretty much so i wanted to address them all to everyone's names but i have since found out that a lot of the orders have been placed under parents names because of their christmas presents obviously so they don't want to get it sent to their house and have their daughter open it before christmas so um that's kind of an issue but the only way that i'll be able to tell whether it is a mother or their child or their daughter or their son or whatever is to go onto Instagram and see if they're following me. That's the only way I can tell. So I'm gonna go through all the orders one by one and type in every single order name and figure out if these are daughters or mums or whatever. I don't wanna go addressing your guys' things to Karen when it's not Karen's thing. Instagram names, people's names, everything there is all sorted. I have now been and collected all of the courier bags. I'll sort that out in the morning. Basically the plan for tomorrow is that I have to do all the packaging and write all of this. So I've got the card here to write all of the little letters. So I'll do that in the morning and get it all sorted so that when I get the hoodies tomorrow afternoon, I can just fire them straight into the bags and get them sent off the following morning before 11 o'clock because that's the time that the courier comes. Exciting stuff. It's all falling into place and I cannot wait to see you guys wearing these. Literally, it's going to be the most exciting thing like ever. Okay, guys. So it is now the next day and today is the day that I actually received the hoodies. So I need to have basically everything sorted because I want to get them sent out basically tomorrow morning as soon as I can so that you guys receive them in time for Christmas. So basically last night I was going through Instagram usernames trying to like figure out who follows me and that was how I was determining whether it was the parent or the daughter or son or whatever that had ordered the hoodie so I could like personalize a letter to them. But then I realized I actually sent an email to everyone. So now I'm going back through the emails because a lot of the parents just said, yeah, that's fine, like, to the email I just sent out. But, like, most of the people who were actually buying the hoodie for themselves gave, like, a bit more information. Saying, like, how they like the hoodie and stuff. If you've received your hoodie and it's not personally addressed to you, I'm sorry. Um, it wasn't on purpose, I promise. I'm just trying, like, I just didn't want it to be addressed to the wrong person. I'd rather address it to, like, no name than it to be the, the completely wrong person because that would just be really awkward. Okay, so I'm back. I've sorted out the names and stuff, so now I have nine pieces of card here. So there's 34 hoodies, so I'm going to cut these up into little, like, A6 little pieces of paper and then write on them with a pen which my brother has stolen so I need to go and locate that. I'm so excited to like write these little letters to you guys and I'm actually so excited for you guys to get them like see wearing them it's literally gonna be like <laughs> okay I need to go find this pen I'll catch you guys later. Okay located the pen I just ended up getting one of my pens location from school because I forgot that I had a second one. I also located these so my I don't know I want to do some funky cool drawings on them but I don't know how to do funky cool drawings so it probably won't happen. Also I don't have an autograph like I'm so scared that someone's gonna come up to me and ask my autograph I'm gonna be like I don't have one because like I I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest I feel like I have nice handwriting but as soon as I try and do anything that's not my own handwriting like anything that's nice and cursive and linky and calligraphy whatever it just flops <laughs> so i'm not too sure what i'm going to do here because i wanted to sign the bottom of the letters but i don't have a signature which is like my rate limiting step like i want to make it look kind of like how my website little icon thing looks which i'll put a photo on here if you don't know what that looks like see like i can write like that but that just looks like kind of ugly anyway i need to cut up these pieces of paper okay jokes so i decided that i would redo thing so this is now going to be on the reverse side of the card so we'll open it up and there'll be the sunshine which that is actually i haven't announced this yet but there's my new sunshine i had to change it because of like production issues um so if you've ordered one i will be sending you an email to make sure that you still want a hoodie if you've ordered one with the old design on it because once i get the new hoodies this afternoon i'll take another photo of what this looks like against each of the colors and then change it on the website but then on the other side it'll just be plain and then i'll write the message but now i've got a big pile of card here which i don't know what i'm gonna do with but i'll find I'll find something to use that for. So yeah, I need to write these letters and my camera battery needs to go on charge. Every time I'm like updating you guys, I'm like taking it off charge and then putting it back on again, which is so bad for the battery. So time to put this on charge and actually write these letters. All right guys, so my camera battery has recharged and I'm up to order number 13 at the moment, which I'm currently writing out the little card for. This is taking me a lot longer than I thought. It literally takes me like about five minutes. Like I've been doing this here, like sitting here for an hour and a half so far. So it takes me like about five minutes to write each letter. Yeah, and also I've had to put a plaster on my finger because the pen was like, I don't know if you can see this little ledge here. Well, that was digging into my finger 
and it was <laughs> it was really starting to hurt so hopefully this will make it slightly less painful but i need to get back onto this because i was supposed to be going to town with mum to get some stuff for a video that i'm filming very shortly with my um little brother like not little brother but like he's like a brother to me but i was like sorry mum, like can you please get this stuff for me because i cannot afford to leave this because i want to get this to you guys for christmas and i didn't want to like set myself back i need to carry on with this and i'll catch you guys Probably when I finish this. I don't know. It's like lunchtime. I'm too hungry. But I need to get this done. Ugh. Okay. See you soon. So I've written out like one and a half of them. And realised that I actually put this plaster on the wrong finger. So we're going to try that again. I swear I'm more intelligent than I act and how I look. I swear. Alright. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay. Hi. I'm back. I had a bit of a lunch break. So it's now like quarter past two. But um, my pen, <laughs> she ran out of ink, got my new pen which I found, which was actually mine, and I found on my floor of my brother's bedroom. So now we can start writing these again. I've got 11 more, so 12 more including the one I'm doing now to write out. And then we are done. And yeah, I'm going away tomorrow, so I literally have to get this all sorted. I still have to go and drive and pick up the hoodies. I still don't have those yet. And I still don't know if they're, I haven't been notified that they're ready. But she said it would be ready by this afternoon. So I'm hoping and praying that they are ready by this afternoon. Otherwise, we're going to have an issue. All right, I'm here with mum. Time to go pick up the merch. But it's pouring down with rain. I'm going to need two hands for this. So I'll catch you guys when I'm back in the car. All right, um, hoodies, boxes in the bag. I have two I need to send off right now because someone's mum messaged me saying they need them. By Thursday, so I'm gonna send those off right now and I'll see you guys shortly. Wow, we this is hectic, so I'm home now. Here's mum. Just got the boxes out of the car because it is raining, which is great. Two massive boxes full. I'm puffing because I had to run in the rain of merch. For the night, I'm setting up camp over here on the dining table for a change of scenery. Um, I can't show that stuff, but. You get the idea of what's happening. Let's do this. All right, I literally just finished writing all of these out. It is now quarter past six, so now I need to put them all into the courier bags and all of that fun stuff. There was something else I thought I needed to do before that, but I can't remember what it was now. Oh no, I need to sort them out into sizes. That's what I need to do. So that's my job now. Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Prospero año y felicidad I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas <sighs> Alright, merch is now in piles so I've organised it into colours and sizes and hopefully they're all in the right piles I'm gonna have to check as I go to make sure that everyone's getting the right thing um, letters all written, invoices are all printed, and now I need to put them all into bags. It's been a minute, but I've established some sort of a setup here. That's sorry, my tripod's just poking up over there. The orders there, hoodies here, courier bags here, so I'll write those up. And then once they're done, they go in the box, and I need to enter the tracking numbers into the website, and then that gets emailed to the customer. Alright, it's 10.37, and I pretty much haven't really moved from the seat since I started packaging these things. But they're all done. It's like two massive boxes of them. Um, those are like top three there. But right between my fingers, those are all international ones. There's three bigger ones at the bottom are all double orders. But yeah, they're all packaged up, all ready to go. So I just need to seal them all up now. Oh, my camera's flashing, really? It's been a big day. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning and send them off. Also, to seal the packages, just for a little bit of context, this is what I was dealing with. Quite a lot. Of packages right it is time to take this this time to take this merch up to the post office to send it off i've got it in the two boxes there filled up to the brim i'm gonna get my brother to come help me because i can't carry all this by myself yeah let's let's go i'm editing this vlog now to go up in the morning but it appears that i didn't actually close it off so this is me closing off the vlog and also it's like this is gonna be like a 15 minute video so this one goes out to all those people that have been like oh why your vlog must be so short if you were doing 25 videos in a month, you would understand why they're so short. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this gives you a bit of an insight into what the merch process is like. For those of you who have ordered your hoodies, I hope you guys like them. I'm so excited to see photos of you guys in them. Apart from that, make someone smile. If you haven't snatched my merch up already, head over to my website and you'll get your orders. Late January, early February. Make someone smile and I'll see you in my next video. Sorry, I keep on clicking my pen. Um... Feliz
feliz navidad